and welcome to the third broadcast in a row. Little bit of a different, a, a bit of a deviation on Deviant Art. Hmm, see what I did there? Well, very nearly a link, very nearly, guys. So I have been looking for about, I don't know, maybe probably a decade for a space that I can put really high quality, high end art and have it printed, have people buy it, etc., etc. Now, years and years ago, I was on deviant art because I was actually making very deviant art. Um, it was all very um, LGBTQ, um, kind of pushing out boundaries of erotica. I was a performance artist at the time and, you know, was sort of doing this whole thing based around a lot of fetish stuff. And I ran a club. And there were all sorts of, you know, shenanigans going on. And it worked really, really well. Well, when I went a bit more mainstream, I thought, oh, there's no point in me being on there anymore. But now I've sort of done full circle. And although I don't create fetishistic art per se anymore, I've just looked at deviant art, and they've come such a long way. So there's tons of stuff on there that actually isn't deviant. But I would say stylistically really interesting but they do a protection thing so they protect your work so if pictures are very very similar they um, inform you so if anyone's copying your material like using AI and stuff um, the ability to create upload create sell on you know for different um, quality prints etc on different things really easy and I'm I'm going back to it I'm going back to DeviantArt with my artwork so I'm just setting it up now but I'm kind of just thinking do I do I do I Serverlan or do I do Tail Taylor Club I think I'm probably going with I Serverlan because she's the arty side of me you know she's the creator who does most of the drawing now um I mean, my I do draw and paint under my origin, my real name, my birth name, um, but it, that's more for sort of portrait work, you know, in oils. It's kind of a bit fuddy duddy, Sonia de la Mare, F R S A. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, it's a bit goes on a bit, doesn't it? It's not very modern. It's a little bit traditional, a little bit old fashioned. And what I want, what I desperately want to work with my my new platform, my new server, everything that I've done, this whole revamp that I've had at the Tell Tell Club, I want something modern. I want something seamless, modern, exciting, smooth, looks all shiny pixels, all oh, gleaming, gleaming, shiny pixels. I bloody love shiny pixels, I really do. I mean, this is the thing when I use... I use so much uh, digital tech stuff, you know, my iPad. I do a lot of drawing on my iPad with a pen and it's shiny. And that's the biggest difference between paper and your iPad. <laughs> and you have to get your head around it because it's actually such a big difference working with this constant shine. And I mean, I've I mean, never really thought about it before, but there is always this shine. Now, of course, when you print things off, they're not going to be shiny, like the screen of your iPad. They're going to be, you know, what kind of depends, obviously, on, on the paper. I mean, if, you, if they're photographic and, um, you know, done with kind of satin paper or whatever, you know, high gloss, they're going to be shiny. Um, but if you have things printed on a matte surface, then they're going to be matte. I mean, these are the things that I think about, guys. These are the things that occupy my brain cells all day long. Um, now, as far as I know, you can order on um, DeviantArt different surfaces, different um, things for the work. And I'm not sure if they do frames. I haven't checked. But you can certainly order all of my prints. So any minute now, I am going to launch my new DeviantArt platform. And I'm doing it as I serve land. I've just decided. And um, I, there's going to be, you know, by the weekend, there's going to be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces of artwork that I am extremely proud of that I've done over the last decade and have not been able to find a decent home, a simple a simple platform that doesn't glitch like my website. If I start doing this on my website, it bloody glitches all over the place. It can't cope with the, you know, all the pixels, just the crazy pixels. Can't cope, can't cope, etc., etc. Um, 
I'll be putting my DeviantArt on, directly onto my website as well, so it'll all be linked up there. You'll be able to find me easily enough, and you'll more to the point, you'll be able to buy my bloody art. Fantastic. So there we go, guys. Really, really, um, can you hear the excitement in my voice? Woohoo! Okay, back soon. <laughs>